Hello guys, this is Azona and welcome back to another PD2 video. Today we're going to talk about two different ranged builds. They are Thorobarb and Bozon. They both got amazing damage output and AoE skills, which means they are both great mappers. Basically, this is a Thorobarb guide, so I'll be talking more about Thorobarb and I'll have a quick overview of Bozon. And then we'll find out who is the greater mapper. Alright, let's jump into the details. Thorobarb uses double throw as his main attack. You will need two throw weapons to use double throw, including javelins, flying knives, flying axes, and so on. I know you will ask, what is the best in slot weapon? The answer is simple. Choose those ones with higher average damage. I have mentioned the same thing in my whirlwind video. I would say the best Thor weapon is something corrupted, rare or craft and it has over 500 ED. I have two nice examples here. Lots of thanks to bombers who tried over 2000 times to craft them. Make sure you pick up any ethereal blue throw weapons when you are farming. If only considering the unique ones, I'd say Wrath Flight or two Wrath Flights. Yes, dual wielding Wrath Flight. Hey, wait, wait, wait. No less writer? No War Strike? Yes, only Wrath Flight. We know less writer has amplified damage and War Strike has ton of deadly strike, but they can't beat Wrath Flight just because the huge difference between their average damage, which is the most important thing for physical damage builds. Ethereal Demon's Arch is also very nice. In other words, any throw weapon with high average damage and nice corruption will do. And currently, the amplified damage from weapons is bugged. If you start a Necromancer, you will see level 16 amplified damage reduces 42% physical resistance, but in fact, it only reduces 10% instead of 42. If this bug is fixed, then less Raider will be very strong, but not now. It can still break some physical immune, but every barb can do it with battle cry, and there are not so many physical immune monsters in the map. I did couple map runs on single player to test Wrath Flight, Last Raider and War Strike. And here's the result. Other slots I'm using Veil of Steel, High Lords, Two Throw, Go Rider, Nosferatus, Go Hide, Raven Frost, and a Wisp. If you have no idea why I'm using Two Throw, definitely check my Two Throw video. The helm, gloves, and boots slots are very open. Just use whatever you like. For example, Ariate's Face, G Face, Laying of Hands, War Traveler are all nice choices. Since Double Throw is reworked in PD2, the vanilla IS calculators are not so accurate, so I had to test it by myself. I found two IS breakpoints for dual wielding Wrath Flight. They are 121 and 173. My throw barb on server is at 121 breakpoint, and I think it's pretty solid. I have 30 IAS from Act 5 Merc using Beast, 35 IAS from Level 11 Frenzy, which means if I have Frenzy buff on, I need 56 more IAS to reach 121 breakpoint. If I get more IAS ED jewels in the future, I'll push it to 173 breakpoint. For other weapon combinations, I suggest you to install Plugy and download the item pack from PD2 Wiki and test it by yourself. This is my sheet damage, self buffed and having Heart of the Wolverine on. 24k to 69k, insane. But sadly, this number is bugged too. Yeah, another bug. This is not the real damage I'm doing. I know through the video we're watching, my damage output looks nice. Yes, it's nice, but I mean, uh, obviously I'm not doing 69k damage per javelin. Or, 
I will be one shooting everything. Here's my throw bar killing Diablo. And this is my wolf bar doing 6k to 34k damage. Now you understand the numbers are wrong. I mean, a throw barb clears map really really fast, but his sheet damage is not real. Okay, let's take a look of stats and skills very quickly. Enough strength to hold your gear and all rest points into dexterity. You can also put some points on vitality if you find yourself too easy to die. A max double throw of course and a double swing, which synergizes double throw. Max Mastery, Max Battle Command for plus 3 to all skills and some extra damage. All rest points on battle orders. Okay, next is the Bow Zone. I made this character basically followed a great guide video. You'll see a link in the description below. I'm using an incredibly GG Wind Force. Veil of Steel, Cat's Eye, Tyrus Might. War Traveler, Wisp, Dual Leech Ring, Nosfera Tooth, L.O.H., and carrying an Act 1 Merc with Vigor and Fanaticism Aura. This Amazon clears map super fast, but after done some map runs I'm kind of surprised by the result. This is the average clear time of my Thor Barb dual wielding Wrath Fight. And this is Bozong. Hmm, interesting, right? I thought Bozong is faster, but apparently she's not. But this doesn't mean that Throw Barb completely beats Bozong. The map I used to do the test is this one 168 density. If it's a 200 or even over 300, Throw Barb would definitely need more time. Well, Bozong will not. She clears the map with very stable speed, no matter how much density it is. So, my conclusion is, when doing an extremely high density map, Bozong is faster. When doing a map below 200 density, Thorobarb is faster. Okay, finally I have some mapping tips here for both characters. I hope them help you guys clear maps smoother. For throw barbs having whisper rings, buff yourself with battle command first, summon spirit, and then cast battle command again to buff your spirit. You will have a little bit additional damage. And when you're mapping, you need to keep your frenzy up. But when you encounter a large pack of monsters, it will be dangerous if you just run into them and charge frenzy. Fire some javelins and kill most of them, then use frenzy on the left ones. This will be a lot safer. Tips for bosons. Click your mouse and fire multi shot. Hmm? And then? Nothing else! Everything just died! Can't you see? This mother Alright, this is it for today's video and I hope this helps. Make sure you hit like and subscribe if you like my videos. This do help me a lot for making more great videos. Good luck to everyone and enjoy your PD2 journey. I'll see you soon in the next video. Like and subscribe if you like and subscribe if you like my double screen.